what news we have this morning. Okay, uh, breaking news this morning. Uh, we got some kind of crime that happened in True North at the bank. As you can see from this security footage, we got some kind of shadow that's just walking by or something. Uh, judging by the looks and hair, it appears that someone named Angeltune robbed the bank last night. Uh, you did this? Wait, why? I don't recall doing any of that kind of stuff. Where is this coming from? Uh, come in! Freeze! Stop in the name of the law! Wait, uh, uh, what's going on? Alright, we finally found you. You're gonna come with us. You're under arrest for committing the crime we saw on the news. Wait, hold up, hold up, hold up. This has to be a mistake. I did not do anything. Alright, you're ah, coming with us. Hey. Come on, let's go. Let go of me. Well, Two Link, it's a nice place to go to Mexi Grill, especially at this time in the afternoon. Yeah, Kirby was nice enough to, well, invite us over to lunch, even though he is working here, but still, it was nice of him. Uh, uh, I'm, I'm just that phrase now. Uh, What's taking so long with that food? God, I'm so hungry that I could eat a horse. No, not this again! No! Ah! 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 Oh, any plans after this? I don't know. We can maybe visit the whole town. I mean, I'm kind of new to this place, so it's nice to get a good view around here once in a while. Okay, sir. Uh, we'll get working on those chicken tacos. In the meantime, go find a seat, and we'll let you know when the food's ready. Pitchy man, we got more tacos. Okay, hang on. I have to handle this wet order from the drive-thru. Okay. Sir, don't make it so difficult for me. Just give me the twenty-five dollars. It's not that bad. Um, Pigeon Man, sweetie, I don't have that much money. Just take the five dollars, and I can just go my way. Sir, I'm pretty sure you don't know how Mexico Girl works. Depending on what you order here, it will cost you money. Whatever money it costs, you have to give me at least the exact amount. Okay, your total is twenty-five dollars, not five dollars. You either give me twenty-five dollars, or you can leave and not get the food. Well, honey, listen. Where I come from. Okay. You either give me $25 or you can get out, okay? Your choice. But you're not going to pay me just $5 over food that you bought. <laughs> you're going to be seen for my lawyer. Man, this is a pain in the butt. Aw, get you back, sweetie. Don't let it get to you. Okay, you honestly don't understand. Sometimes the customers we get are jerks, and there's other times where they're actually real people. Man, <sighs> you forgot to take your coffee again, did you? <sighs> yes, dear, I forgot to drink my coffee, and I forgot to take it with me. Hey, not a good morning for me. Well, it's the afternoon, but you know what I mean. Well, that was interesting. Uh, where should we go next? I don't know. We could try someplace, uh, I don't know. Whatever works, I guess. I don't know. We could try going to the park. The park? Okay, that, that sounds like a decent idea. Yeah, I mean, parks are pretty nice. I think we can have a nice view over there. Okay, we should go there then. Alrighty, let's see what news we have this morning. And that's why we can't live in this world without the air. Back to you, Kyle. Thank you, Judith. Okay, uh, breaking news this morning. Uh, we got some kind of crime that happened in True North at the bank. As you can see from this security footage, we got some kind of shadow that's just walking by or something. Uh, judging by the looks and hair, it appears that someone named Angeltune robbed the bank last night. And that is what's going on. That's what the camera caught. And well, let's just hope this Steve just gets the light it deserves. Wait, why? I don't recall doing any of that kind of stuff. Where is this coming from? I don't know. I mean, it really looks like they gave out the specific details. Yeah, they said they saw the brown hair from you and everything. No, 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 no. There must be a misunderstanding. There has to be a mistake. I do not remember doing any of that stuff last night. Hey guys, I'm back. What did I miss? Apparently the news is saying that I committed some kind of crime over there when really I didn't do that. Whoa, hang on, something's not right here. I know you well enough that you would never take any illegal action. This feels like a setup. You think? Uh, come in. Please! Stop in the name of the law! 
Wait, uh, uh, what's going on? All right, we finally found you. You're gonna have to come with us. You're under arrest for committing that crime we saw on the news. Wait, hold up, hold up, hold up. This has to be a mistake. I did not do anything. All right, you're coming ah, with us. Come hey, on, let's go. Let go of me. Move out of the way. No, no, this isn't right. Guys, you know she didn't do it. I mean, I don't know, Tulink. I mean, they weren't giving me specific details, and, oh, Angel Toon does have those details. Do you not understand how untruthful the news can be at most times? Well, I'm gonna file a complaint about this, because this is not right. I really feel like something's wrong here, and I'm gonna fix it. Yeah, but, Tulink, are there any witnesses from this case? There has to be one witness, and we'll figure it out soon. Now let's get moving! Man, another boring day in here. Uh, what do you want, kid? A lollipop? I would like to file a complaint. And what's your complaint, sir? So, basically, there is this one friend who was falsely accused of robbing this one bank in this town which I know she didn't do. Oh, wait a minute. Oh, I saw the news earlier. I mean, we got that settled. She's already in the nice warm cell. Well, guess what? You got the wrong person. Were you there when it happened? Well, okay, well, listen. There's probably at least one witness who maybe saw the actual crime and can confirm it's not Angel Toon all along. Cause anybody can have brown hair. And that includes you. Um... I have black hair. You know what I mean! <sighs> okay. You made some decent points. Uh... There's only maybe one way to figure this out. I'll have to call out the two. Wait, who are the two? Yeah! Finally! We got her a chance to shine! Woo! Hey! Shut up, dog! We are here to be questioning witnesses. Okay, how dare you call me a dog? And okay, fine. I called you a dog because you howled like a dog. Hush. Okay, let's maybe get our first person in here. Okay, horse guy. You're up first. Uh, uh, we're out of here. Don't worry, you're not in trouble, okay? We're here to ask a few questions about the event that happened last night. Now bear with us, okay? Uh, okay. Did you witness the crime that happened last night? In case you're wondering what crime it was, someone that looked like Angel Toon robbed the bank. Didn't she commit another crime though? Like, I saw, like, her destroying the diner as well. Wait, how did that not get on the news? I have no idea. But where would we see time right now? Uh, just answer our question. I never saw any crime at all. Uh, all I thought is that I was hiding in the bathroom and next to the whole time because I'm just scared of people now. What are you scared of, son? <laughs> that phrase! What phrase, son? Uh, I don't want to say it! I'm too traumatized by it! Okay, he seems clean. He's obviously not the witness. You may go now. Thank you, thank you. Uh, none of you are hungry, right? Well, now that you mentioned it, I kinda am hungry. No, wait, no, don't say it, don't say it! I know what you're gonna say! What is wrong with him? I don't know, but we're moving on to the next person. Alright, Tori, you're up next. Now, we're gonna ask you a few questions and answer them truthfully, okay? Um, okay. Were you there last night when the crime happened? If you're curious, it's all about some person that looks like Angel Toon robbing a bank plus destroying a diner. Um, no. I was actually hanging out with Maggie and her other friends. And besides, I don't know who Angel Toon is. So, you were not there when the crime happened? No, sir. Now, can I go? Maggie and I agreed to meet up later on. Might as well. You see, truthful enough. Okay, thank you. Okay, this will be harder than I thought. How will we know who the witness is? 
The only way that we will know is if we bring everybody to this show. We brought the crowd, which is who she likes. If we see nonsense of security strikes, do not fear, do not panic, we will find the blind. Once the witness is found, and we are done. There was a crime we need to know. There's no suspect, we're not done though. Who saw the crime during those minutes? We will find out who's the witness. Julian, can you explain what have you saw? I'll be honest, sir, there's nothing at all. I was sitting over there at Maxi Grill. I have never heard a single shrill. During the night? Dude, I was asleep. Early morning? I went to see some sheep. Okay, he's obviously not the guy. Now get out of here before Okay, I... goodbye. There was a crime we need to know. There's no suspect. We're not done though. Who saw the crime during those minutes? We will find out who's a witness. Who to next? We have a frog. Now tell us, Mr. Kermit, were you on that log? Or to assume I was doing my job. Never have I once seen anyone rob. Pigeon Man, tell us, did you see the crime? No, I was working doing my job. Who's the witness? Do you have an idea? No, but you can ask my girlfriend, Luciana. Luciana, did you place the crime? What crime? Did you... Did you really have to ruin the song? Why are we even doing this? He's right. We're getting nowhere. Well, I mean, I could suggest something if you really There was a crime we need to know. There's... Ugh, let's get out of here. This is a waste of time. the crime during those minutes. We will find out who's the witness. <sighs> Well, we checked every single person, and as a result, none of them were witnesses. Ugh. Maybe we should just give up. We're not getting anywhere with this. You guys still have a rough investigation? Kill us, kid! We're already giving up on this crime. We can't even find out who the witness is. One of them could tell you that Armor witnessed what happened last night. <gasps> there was a crime we need to know. If you get to sing one more note of that song, you will not hear the end of it. Uh, uh, okay, 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 okay. We'll stop. We'll stop. We'll stop. Now hold on to that promise. Don't make promises you can't keep. Okay, Obo. Now tell us, what did you see last night? Uh, well, if you guys remember from last night. The figure you saw? It was an angel. It was a shadow. A shadow? <laughs> Next thing you know, you're probably gonna say that it was the boogeyman. Uh, that is so funny. Listen to me, you corrupted grunt. If you don't take this advice that Amor's giving you right now, you're gonna regret it! Okay. Okay. So, alright. So, let me get this straight. You saw a shadow. Explain more. Alright, well, Emma was minding his own business, when suddenly, there was a figure that almost looked like Angel exiting the bank with bags of money. So then, Emma grabbed down his flashlight and told them to stop where they were. And Emma thought he stopped them, but instead, they stopped Emma. And then they knocked Emma out, and, uh, they got away. So, judging by the person we caught, there was no blue clothing, no face, no brown boots, no white pants, nothing like that? No. Just, everything is just dark. Look, as Armor said, this character that you're dealing with is a shadow. Wow, I, I, uh, I actually can't believe we... May have found the true suspect. Alright, well listen. We found out that those police officers arrested the wrong person. We should probably go let them know. Yeah, we should. Eh, that's a good idea. Uh, thanks Elmo. Uh, you're actually a big help today. We appreciate it. Take it to heart. <sighs> huh? Who is there? I'd probably suggest looking up. Wait, looking up? Why would I- Ugh, of course there's nothing. Maybe I'm just going insane. Yeah, whatever, I'm just gonna- ah! Nope, you're not living in any dream, I'll say for one thing. Okay, who are you? And what are you doing here? I'm you, but just darker. But I mostly like to see you suffer. 
Wait a minute. You set me up, didn't you? It's so obvious. But that doesn't mean everyone else knows. So, you've decided to put me into that much trouble. Alright, that's it! You get what you deserve! Ha! Huh? Don't make a fool out of yourself. You know you can't fight me. It's way too impossible. Just remember, nobody knows about this, and it will stay that way. Nobody, not even your little friends, are even allowed to know about any of the stuff. So don't even think about going after me, because you know for one thing, that it will never happen. So if I see you one more time- Hey, what's going on over there? All right, all right, all right. Is everything okay in here? Oh, oh my gosh, big news you're here. Uh, uh, apparently, uh, there's a shadow over here and he is- Wait. A shadow? It's probably one of her hallucinations. No. Wait a minute. It's probably- No way. It was probably the shadow that those two people were talking about earlier. The one who framed your friend the entire time. Sir, there's no way that's even possible. Uh, anyways, uh, you're free to go. Uh, we apologize for arresting you on accident. It was a misunderstanding and stuff. We get mixed up when it comes to looks. Um, we will find the real criminal and we will bring back justice. But uh, for now, uh, you're free to go. You can go home now. Um, come on guys, let's go. We got to find the real criminal. This is a real investigation. Okay, the shadow could be anywhere. Let's go! Ha! I knew it wasn't you all along. I can't believe I was threatened by that guy. Plus, framed. Well, at least all this is done. We should probably get going now. We're not done yet. Huh? Toon, do you not understand that my shadow self could be anywhere right now? Probably framing me more than usual. We got to stop the shadow from causing any more trouble. Or it could change everything. Are you with me on this? Count me in.